spend a lot of December, January in the weight room, lifting heavy, throwing heavy shots, and so you don't see the ball go particularly far. Uh, so a bit of trust in, in the preparation and in being a veteran of the sport, knowing that just because I'm not throwing far today in training doesn't mean that in a couple weeks I can't see, see the body start to move a little bit better physically. And so uh, very happy with today because what I hope to see early on is strength showing through kind of from, from the weight room training and the heavy shots that I've been throwing. And that was definitely there. Um, technically, a bit of a struggle, uh, not my best technical day, but um, if there's there's one thing that will hopefully be better between now and, and the Olympics is, is my technique uh, getting a little better. Well, I'm actually from France. All right. So, so like, you have something big coming up this summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, going into a competition like this, where is it still, is it still stressful for you? Because you won so many competitions against, against the same guys. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely a bit stressful. I feel like early season as well. Um, because I know that the possibility to throw far is there, but I don't have the technical proficiency really locked in. Um, I know that that's especially frustrating when you know that it's there, uh, but you might struggle to execute and find it. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm still nervous, still stressful, and it's such a talented group of guys that, um, yeah, even no, ma no matter how far you throw, they're, they, they won't quit. So, um, yeah, always keep me on my toes the entire competition. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, until round six, you don't really know that you've solidified the win. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. You've accomplished, you know, world records, Olympic gold, world championships. The one thing you had never won was the world indoor t title till tonight. Yeah. Did you kind of feel like that was a hole in your resume? Uh, it did. Yeah. I mean, it was. Yeah. It's the one. The one thing that I really had, had been missing, and so. Um, I, and it's especially frustrating because I like doing indoors. It'd be different if I didn't do indoors. There's a number of throwers that really don't do much indoors. And so I've done indoors almost every year. Um, and I like throwing indoors just because it's less variables. And um, so it was a bit frustrating to not have that one until tonight. Uh, but I'm, I'm really happy to finally win it, but more so excited to move outdoors and, and get ready for the Olympics because, yeah, this was uh, kind of just a checkpoint in my training and add a sense of urgency, add a sense of preparation, uh, but, but also wanted to see where I'm at physically. And so the things I've been working on were very good. The things that I have not been working on were quite bad. So um, strength is good, kind of aggression in the ring is good from throwing heavy shots, but technical finesse was very, very bad. So uh, it has me excited knowing that the power is there to throw really far. I just have to execute technically. Are you a little bit disappointed to get the world records? Cause there's like, I think there's like what, a 40 or $50,000 bonus. Yeah, I frustrated to not get it. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm content with, with how I threw. Um, and so I don't, I can't even say what, they've moved the records around so much um between now it's short track shot put or i don't know if it's just the same indoors now <laughs> um even as an athlete it's a bit tough to follow so uh would have liked to have i keep my own world record i guess of 2282 like that's i would call that the indoor world record so would have liked to have moved that out um a little bit closer to 23 or over 23 but um yeah overall happy to walk away with the win i don't know i mean i could have thrown a 2350 if i had a perfect throw but I wouldn't say I really deserved it based on the technical execution today. So uh, what motivates you now? Yeah, I mean, for me, I always just want to throw farther. Um, I, I, I know that I still can throw farther and I just want to move my PR out as far as possible. Um, I can't control what the other guys do in, in the comp. And so all I can control is what I do. And, and track and field is such a special event or any of the events in that when you have a PR, you can say I'm the best I've ever been. And unfortunately, as a professional athlete, that gets harder and harder every time you do it, uh, especially later in your career. So uh, it's an addictive feeling. So that's really what keeps me going is trying to be the best that I can be and uh, throw, a, throw a little bit farther if I can. All right. Good luck. All right. Thank you.